What's up guys, I'm Joey from AwesomeCameras.com and this is the Lomography Spinner 360. It's an analog film camera, uses 35 millimeter film, but it takes photos that are 360 degrees. And all you gotta do is pull this string, let go, and that's it, it takes your 360 picture. It's got a pretty wide angle lens on it, so if you hold it at arm's length and spin it, it's still gonna get a pretty decently wide shot here. So there's a bunch of stuff you can do with this. You can take a photo of just yourself in you know, a cool surrounding if you're out in nature or you know, whatever. Or if you have a bunch of friends and you want a photo of everyone, you can hold your arm out and have everyone stand in a circle around it and then spin it and it'll get everyone in the photo. Another cool thing I did with it was I held it vertical and spun it like that and it did this crazy photo where you can see my full body and then you see like the other horizon twice in the same photo. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but I took this out with my buddy Derek. We went out to the Sepulveda Dam uh, here in Los Angeles and just were messing around with it. I shot a roll of I think Superior 200 um, and the photos came out great at the first try. So it's got two apertures here. There's a little setting here. Um, one for, you know, how Lomography does it. They've got one for sunshine and one for clouds. They are F8 and F16. And then the, it's kind of funny here. Your, your normal 35 millimeter camera has a big frame here. This one just has a little slit. That way when the camera spins, it rotates the film at the same speed that the camera's rotating, and so it just rotates that little strip, if that makes sense. It's just a little strip, and then that strip is going across like this. So the shutter speeds on this, I think were, depending on how hard you, you pull the string here, between a 150th and a 250th of a second. It's got a little level on the top here, um, in case you want to get it, make sure it's perfectly level. It does also have a tripod mount. So you could mount that on a tripod to make sure your shot is perfectly level if that's important to you. But I think some of the cooler shots I took with this, um, I actually held it at an angle because then the horizon kind of goes up and then in the next rotation it's like going down, but then you're still in the photo. It's kind of weird. but. Those were the cooler photos, I think, rather than just holding it exactly straight. I could see if you have a bunch of people around you and you want to take a photo of everyone, it might be better to have it perfectly still, like on a tripod. That could be useful in that scenario. But anyways, I'm just going to run through the rest of the photos that I took with this thing. I hope you enjoy them. And uh, see you in a minute. Alright guys, that was a quick look at the Lomography Spinner 360. 
uh, there's not too much to say about it, so this is going to be just a quick little video here, um, just a quick look at this camera here. Um, you know, if you're thinking about buying one or you just were curious about what it actually is, now you know, and uh, you can go maybe buy one yourself. I'll put a link down uh, where you can buy one. I think on Amazon they're right around $100. And as always, guys, if you're into these kind of videos, you like what I'm doing here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and then you'll get some updates every time I upload a new video. And uh, yeah, keep in touch. I'm Joey from AwesomeCameras.com, and this has been a quick look at the Lomography Spinner 360. Pretty cool, huh?